What's up guys, Grim here. Today I'm wanting to talk to you about the Vulcanist Primalist Soul. I'm wanting to make build videos of all these Primalist builds and try to give you guys something to use. But whenever I come up with something on my own, I always end up posting it and then somebody has a better recommendation for a macro or something that I left out or something like that. So I'm really wanting to basically show you what I have so far and you guys can run it if you like right now or you can wait until I do the official build video and you guys will be able to uh, uh, see the finished product after all the recommendations are given and all that. I thought it was a good idea if I just show you guys the progress along the way and then you go hey no no, no this is a better build this is a better macro that kind of stuff. Now, we have particular rules with this, as in, we want to make sure that the macros and stuff are not too clunky, as in, uh, don't go with a PVE rotation, as in, you hit this button, you hit this button, you hit this button, you hit this button up here, you hit, you know, all, all over the place, because that's a lot easier to do in PVE whenever you are basically standing in one spot, and the only time to move is you know whenever you're needing to get out of the red or something well in pvp you're almost always moving and if you're not moving you're becoming a target people are going to see you as a stationary target and they're going to close the distance and you know kill you so we want to make sure that it is uh, macros that will be pretty easy to use or buttons uh, the rotation pretty easy that way we don't uh, go into too much complicated stuff where people are focusing more on their buttons rather than their movement and line of sight and, and all that stuff all right so this is the build that I'm running with right now and this is just the preset this is just the preset that they give you for Vulcanist so I'm sure there's a better build I'm sure on the forums they've already got better builds uh, but I want to hear you guys' recommendations. I don't really like going to the forums and looking at all that stuff because normally it's pretty elitist people with these big, you know, mile-long PVE rotations. And like I said, that that's easy to do, uh, easier to do in PVE situations since you're normally not moving a lot. But in PvP, man, having that kind of a rotation is is killer uh you that's why a lot of the pveers whenever they go to pvp they die they die a lot even though they're using this optimal rotation they make it too complicated to where they're focusing on their buttons rather than their movement their line of sight and, and all that stuff so but then you got the you know pvpers that also pve and raid and stuff like that and they're just good in both areas so i'm not talking about those guys because usually they'll make a PvP build that is a lot simpler to use rather than uh, their PvE builds. So, alright. So, uh, the spec that we have is the preset, like I said. And we went 4 into Might of Earth and Dervish for the 16% weapon damage and attack power increase. That is a lot. And then uh, we went into Roaring Rapids for the critical hit chance increase of 6%. And then we are going into the Masteries here with Exhilaration uh, for the 5 meter increase in our range for our uh, spells. Then I went with Tectonic Power which gives our skill shot. We'll spread slag up to 5 enemies. Um, let's see here. I went with uh, this Ursine Tenacity, I think that's how you say it, to increase movement speed by 10% percent because movement is so important in pvp and if you actually pick up the uh one that seems obvious for the vulcanist which is this vulpine cunning then it reduces the cooldown of stroke of brilliance by three percent but no movement speed increase and almost any spec that you're running in pvp you're going to want a movement speed increase as much as possible uh, also, I've noticed that I don't really like using Stroke of Brilliance, even though that is what they recommend and all that. I find it's a very weak ability unless you are using it right while you're in harmony. And if you're paying that much attention to your focus bar, most likely you're not paying attention to your movement and stuff. Because I've found that 
uh, w with the type of playing that I do, I can't just stare at that focus bar. I, I can look down and see if it's in fury or something like that, but I can't, you know, try to really catch it right while it's in harmony, right before I hit that spam button one too many times or something. It, it just does not work. So stroke of brilliance might be worth it to put into a spam macro or something and just hope it goes off at the right time but i don't know you guys might have a better recommendation for that i just find that it's it's not good for pvp it's probably amazing for pve not for pvp um let's see here we got primal rage as our level 64 that will increase the range of our charges and teleports by 10 meters which of course we're wanting to use it on our primal warp which will warp us away much like the pyromancer's warp uh, on level 65, we went with spiritualism because that is what Seton recommended uh, in, in the damage rotation. Because me and him had a two-hour Skype call to where it was right after he power leveled me all the way up to level 65. Which from 60 to 65 was like a 30-minute span of uh, power leveling. And I'll be making a power leveling video just shortly to show you guys exactly how we did it so that you guys can do it as well. Um, it's no exploiting or anything like that. It's it's just gameplay, just doing it in a smart way. And hopefully they don't nerf it right after I post a video about it or talk about posting a video of it. So, All right, so spiritualism is what he recommended and it's a big part of the burst macro. But... Me being a PvPer, I feel like we need to go for the heal. I'm such a big advocate of getting that heal because there's so many situations where you're in trouble and you got to sit there and basically just die if you don't have a heal. And I like to line of sight, you know, use the heal, be done with it, and get right back into the fight. I hate not having a heal absolutely despise it so i don't think spiritualism is the right way to go here even though it will add to your burst a lot i don't think it's the right way to go but i have it there because that's what i was recommended so i was giving it a try and there were so many situations where i was just going the guy's about to come around the corner he's about to fight me i have no heal to heal up so i die shortly after and it sucks but it's up to you guys. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering what you guys think about it. All right, so the buffs I have, of course, is Infusion and Font of Wit. The buttons I have down here is well, let's go into the macros. I haven't even showed you the macros yet. Ah, stupid button. All right, macros here. Okay. So, on the spam macro, we went with a specific uh, list here. I went with skill shot at the top because whenever it becomes instant cast, uh, I want skill shot to fire off because it's a very hard hitting ability. Um, I have Vorpal Salvo right afterwards, which it will only, I believe it's a... Uh, cast time and it'll only instant cast right after rage spike or else a cooldown or something like that I, I forget exactly why i put it in this particular uh rotation i know that rage spike triggers vorpal salvo to go on a no cast time or something like that so that's exactly why i put it in that way and if rage spike is down and the other two are not able to be cast instant i have fury blast because i want to build fury uh, you can go with some other ability, maybe like a precision shot uh, bolt at the end if you want to, but you have to stand still for that. But I want a spammable instant macro, basically. I want to run around and be able to spam one button, work my way up to fury, go right into a burst. Okay, so the burst macro that I have is right here. And it just feels really clunky. I can't put together a whole burst macro in one button, which sucks. I know some of you guys are going, yeah, play in PvE. You'll, you'll know exactly about why you need to separate everything. But whenever I'm that intense into a fight, 
I don't like to have so many buttons. I want to be able to uh, kind of build her finisher, have a heal and interrupt, uh, a burst macro, you know, just several different things. But I don't want to go, okay, in order to do my heal, I got to hit this button, then hit this button, and then hit this button. If I want to burst, I got to hit this button to build up to it, then hit this button to burst. That kind of thing. I, I hate doing that much stuff whenever I'm trying to focus on my movement trying to line a sight, trying to burst down the right people, get in the right situations, all that stuff. And PvP is, you have to keep it much more simple usually. So, this is what I have firing off. We have Primal Avatar of the Drake, Spiritualism on self, you always cast on self with that, and then Skill Shot. And basically, I'm trying to always keep an eye on when Skill Shot fires off after that because... It's instant castability and Primal Avatar of the Drake will make Skill Shot be instant cast and then Skill Shot will fire off and a lot of times I don't even I don't see it fire off. So I'm like, did it fire off? Did it fire off? Okay, I can go into the next uh, which will be Ethereal Blast right afterwards. And that this is the burst macro basically what well burst rotation that Seton recommended. I guess he's been playing Vulcanist quite a bit. So basically I'm hitting this and going, okay, I think skill shot fired off. Let's go into ethereal beam now. And I'm sure uh, you could put something like, uh, I guess you could change the button to show skill shot or something, but skill shot is a cast time and it doesn't have a cooldown, so you can't really show it in that way. But uh, the, the button actually shows up on the add on or whatever. Anyway, let's go into uh, the other stuff here. I know I need to put uh, certain things on here on GTAE as well. All right, so we'll go down to the bottom and look at the action bar. We have the spam macro. Uh, we have molten wave. See, basically what I'm doing whenever I go out in PvP is I'm hitting that spam macro and it builds up my fury. If it ever goes into where... Uh, I think it's uh, Vorpal Salvo is uh, instant cast or something. You'll see it go way over into the cunning side. But, you know, once that's used up, it'll build back up into Fury. So we go all the way up into Fury as much as possible and basically go into Molten Wave. So we'll spam, go into Fury, Molten Wave. Spam go into Fury, Molten Wave. That's our normal rotation. And then once we go into the Burst, we'll hit the Burst macro until uh, Skill Shot fires off. And then we'll go right into Ethereal Beam. But you always want to make sure that you have a uh, Precision Bolt on your bar because it, it's going to put Precise Aim on, on yourself. Yeah, it's a self buff. Whenever you shoot the precision bolts at the enemy, it'll put a buff on you that will increase your damage by 10%. So very valuable to do that. And then I have conflagrate, which is going to put a dot on the enemy. So a lot of times I'll, I'll just run up, I'll hit precision bolt, I'll hit my dot, and then I'll go into the spam molten wave rotation unless I'm wanting to uh, burst down at that point. Okay. Then we have uh, Summon Beacon of the Drake, which I'm thinking that that might need to go into like the spam macro as a GTAE, maybe? I don't know. I know I need a macro for it to put it on a GTAE, but I don't know if it needs to go into the spam macro. Because that's going to eat up one of my instant cast. Hmm. Oh no. See, as you can see, I'm brainstorming this stuff quite a bit. And then we have... Primal Warp afterwards, which we were going to teleport by 15 meters and removes all crowd control effects. Of course, we have our Break Free on another button. Then we have Lava Lance, which is our Interrupt. We have Grasping Earth, which is a Root. And then I have Vine Whip, which this is from the uh, Preserver Soul. But I tried to cast it in PvP several times and it has a cast time. It has a 1.5 second cast time. So this enemy that I just realized is coming after me, you know, a melee person. And I cast this ability and I'm basically standing there while they're bridging the gap. I finally hit them with the snare and then they charge me right afterwards or something. It's, it's been so useless of an ability. I think I'm not going to cast it anymore. And then we have Stroker Brilliance, which some of you guys might recommend using it. 
I don't think it's that good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just haven't been using it. It feels like it's too much to uh, stare at the focus bar all that time. To wait to be in harmony state. Alright, so let me know what you guys come up with. If you have a better build, I'm sure there's some on the forums, but I would like to see what you guys come up with. Also, is there better ways of doing these macros, better rotations and stuff to make it, you know, a little more simple on people that are going to be watching a build video and trying to learn rather than doing a 30 button rotation kind of thing that PVEers normally do. So... Let me know what you think. Put it in the comment section below. And if you have like a Magello build or something like that, you can go up to the top of my YouTube page and there will be a, a button that says about. And you click on there and it'll give you all the information about my YouTube page. But it'll also have a button on that page that says send private message or something. And you can send me the link with a private message and show me your whole build if you'd like to. And if you guys come up with a really good build that I end up using, yeah, I'll send you a couple of wrecks. Uh, I'm highly appreciative of people that give me very good builds. So let me know what you guys come up with. As usual, guys, my name is Grim. And I'll see you next time.